Welcome to a cheeky midweek little update and work progress. <laughs> yep, could be Wednesday your time, Tuesday my time. Chicken on a stick for dinner, just because I had a big lunch. And yeah, we're gonna just do a bit of welding down the sills, I think, because we've just been ignoring that. Just need to get on with it. Need to do one side and get the other side down, blah, blah, blah. So uh, let's spend a few hours doing a bit of a boring job while we're waiting for some parts to arrive. Speaking of parts, wiring looms arrived for something, which you'll all know because I posted yesterday. Yep, thanks and a shout out to Michael at wrccontrols.com. He got in touch with me a few a month or so ago. He said, is there anything I can help you with? I'm happy to, mate, I do wiring looms. He does everything. Check out the website. It's absolutely amazing, their stuff. I didn't even know about them until they shouted it, gave, contacted me. He said, what can I do to help? I said, well, oh, I don't know. I haven't got too much. I said, oh, the only thing I have got is I'm relocating fans to the back of the car. And I may be doing running water pumps as well. So, uh, yeah, he's knocked me up to uh, my specification and his, well, his specification once I told him what I wanted. Um, he told me what I needed or what I was going to get. Uh, so, yeah, he's uh, created a loom that runs to the back of the car, splits off um, for um, relays for the fuel pumps. The fans were going to basically just extend and continue the wiring that's at the front of the car to the back. So all the relays that we're going to use for the Subaru ones for the moment. Um, he supplied me with a load of extra bits and bobs, plugs and sockets, fuse boxes, heat shrink, wires. So basically, hopefully, I can do a really nice job of it. I was nearly going to just hack it together, but he's told me to buy the proper tool for the crimps to create these plugs. So I've ordered the tool up, so we're not going to rush anything and, and spoil all his hard work. Uh, it's all coming, all heat shrink covered and everything. Lovely. Yeah, so basically what I'll do is I'll end up replacing these plugs with the ones that he supplied, which will then connect into the loom, and then we'll replace the plugs on the back of the fans um, with the plugs that he supplied. And then obviously one day if we change fans, we can just change plugs and it's all good. So yes, thank you very much, Michael. Uh, we'll show a fitting of this video once uh, the... Uh, my uh, tool arrives. <laughs> okay. So what are we going to try and do tonight? Tonight is we're going to try and get some plug welds along the top here to join the top of the doorstep to our two mil new inner seal that we got that we made just out of two mil metal, obviously. Um, and then that can be trimmed down because it looks like uh, how I found out it matched both sides. So when when things match both sides, I just assume they're right. Is that the seal sort of tapers slightly? Gets a bit thicker at the back and more at the front. That's what I found with the in the, with the body being correct level. Um, so once we've done that, we've got to then. I'm thinking of just trimming that extra bit off there. It's a, it's a support for the rear diff cagey bit, but I've taken them off before and they seem all right. And I think it'll work all just as good. So we then need to get plug welds along the bottom here, into the two mil, um, and then we need to come on the inside and do the same there down on the old floor pan. We need to then plug weld through again. So just the way it works is because obviously yeah, well, I can't get big spot welders through, but also just the way it is, I need to sort of plug weld everything to the two mil seal. That's the idea. Let's see if we can get any of that done and how well it goes. All right, got most of them done along the bottom there. The front ones, yeah, I could have done the seal a little bit better, so I'm just leaving them for the second. They get through to the floor pan, but the, the two mil seals seems to be a slightly different shape, so I think we might better squeeze it anyway. So I'm just gonna get a few on the inside and hopefully that should really make it solid. Maybe I should have driven it after I've done this, but hey ho, we are what we are. I'm thinking the driving's mostly settled its position. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. So let's see how the inside ones go.
Okay, border welding. Didn't take long, did it? Uh, I've got about a half hour left, I think, before I have the scarper. So what I'm just gonna do is trim back some of this wine at the front here, just in preparation for the loom. Uh, these are the two fan plugs, quite far apart. Well, we've got one plug to join into it, so we need to sort of see one if, I bet you, no my luck, both wires just split off both sides. But it'd be nice if one wire ran across and then we could bring that wire back and then we can obviously take it back as far as we want to and uh, go from there. Okay, we're in luck. Didn't have to take it all apart to start with, but anyway. So yeah, I found out that the, yeah, the ground's go off either side, but that's not a problem. But the, the two feeds, because I think they're two speed fans, uh, both come up this side, mostly to this fuse box. So we've got the colors here, four different wires, obviously. So we can trace it back later up to where the fuse box is, and then that's where we can create our new plug and join onto the wire that then runs onto the brand new loom. Supply. So, yeah, we've got a six pin plug there, which replicates those six wires, but obviously the ground we could uh, duplicate anyway. So, yeah, lovely, jubbly, that's what I say. And uh, yeah, that'll work well. So yes, we'll wait for the proper tool to turn up because I'm not gonna try and, you know, if somebody sends me some good stuff, I'm really not gonna try and bodge it. I know they're expecting me to, but I'm gonna surprise them. So that's good, we can sort all that out. So anyway, I think that's it for now. Yeah, short video, so thanks again for everybody's support, and I'd just like to say thanks, I'm only rubbing in, but again, you guys hitting the like button, you guys coming back and watching every video of me cocking things up and boring things and just bodging things and just having a bit of fun, it's grateful. It makes, uh, feels like I've got a bit of company as well. So, yep, yeah, hit the like, hit the share button, share with your friends down the pub soon, or in the gardens. And yeah, check out Facebook page, Twitter, all my other links. It all helps. Just follow me along. And uh, yeah, hopefully see you at a car show soon. In the f Sometime this year. You never know. All right. Take it easy. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.